All right, this format is very bomb heavy, and it's really nice to open a nice juicy mwah, bomb rare in your pack one pick one, and Finale of Devastation is not that. Yeah, the old format on John is Pri yeah, like I played a Finale of Devastation in one of my sealed decks, and it was it was four mana Johnny's Pride Mate a lot of the time. So, that doesn't seem great. What are some other options? There's Johnny's Pride Mate. There's Divine Arrow. There's Kiora. Guild Globe, New Horizon. Like, basically, because all the cards aren't great, they're all similar in power level. I think the pick here is between Divine Arrow, Kiora, Wanderer's Strike, and Thunderer Drake. These four cards. Have they fixed friggin' Deckmaster yet in the draft? No, they haven't. That's so obnoxious. I, f I'm just feel, I feel bad for you guys. It's completely reversed. I feel like that's just something they could have fixed by now. Oh well. Maybe there's a... I thought it auto-updated itself. But maybe there's a new version I have to download somewhere. The card I'm actually thinking about taking is Kiora. Because of the flexibility, the ability to go in any blue or green deck, that means of the ten color pairs, uh, there's a lot of decks you can go into. Uh, I think seven decks that so you can put a hybrid card into, like a pack one, pick one. I haven't really abused Kiora too much, but you can do some gnarly stuff with Kiora. A, you just have a lot of big creatures, or have a New Horizons. Because if you can uh, untap your New Horizons Enchanted Land, then you can make a lot of mana. Wondrous Strike is also a fine card too, though. <laughs> Take the Wondrous Strike. Here's a Paradise Druid. Bloom Hulk is nice. Yeah, I'll just take the Paradise Druid. And Accelerants are so, 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 so good. And there's not that many good two drops in the format. I like Bloom Hulk a lot, don't get me wrong, but I think I'll take the Druid. Here, Vizzy the Scorpion is pretty good. Sahili's okay. Thunder Drake, Tithe Bear Giant. Raging Crunch is decent. Turret Ogre is fine. I think I might take the Vizier here. Is it four color green time? Come on, four color green. I think Vizier is very nice. Two bodies for three mana. It makes all your mass creatures a death touch. Like there's not a white card that I would take or a green card that I would take this early. So I think I'll try the Vizier. Here's a Jaya's Greeting. There's also Robe Belt Rioters, which is fine. There's also a second Wanderer Strike. I think... I think I take the second Wanderer Strike rather than, like, venturing off into red territory for Jaya's Greeting. Here we have a choice of Makeshift Battalion, the Cruel Celebrant I'm not too impressed by, definitely not Loxodon Sergeant, or we could just take a Crunch Wrangler. Crunch Wrangler at its best in like red-green, mostly, because of Raging Crunch. Also pretty good in blue-green. This will just Pollen Bright Druid. I could take that instead of the Crunch Wrangler. Yeah, I think I like the Pawn Bright Druid here. This plays a little bit more with... better with Wanderer, Strike, Vizier, and doesn't rely on me having four power creatures, which I may not get in the way this deck is so far coming together. Here's a Courage and Crisis I like. New Horizons. It's decent. Snare Spinner. Like, seems like green pretty open. Could take a Toll of the Invasion, but I think I might just take one of the green cards. You can get into Courage in Crisis very late. 
You can also probably get New Horizons very late. I like Snare Spinner a decent amount, and he's pretty good when you can just spit a bunch of counters everywhere. Like, I like Toll the Invasion, but it's not clear that I'm necessarily going to be in black. So far, it seems like green white is where I want to be, based on the cards I've taken so far. Obi Skywalker says, Can you please recommend me some article or book about drafting? Um. This one, this one is, it uses examples from a older format, but I think it's one of the best theory articles about drafting by Ben Stark, Drafting the Hard Way. It's the way I attempt to draft. So... There's two ways, there's like macro, like large groups. There's two ways to draft. There's one, you just take your first card and if, if it's good, and then you just like close your eyes and like force it. Like I took a green card, I'm taking all the other green cards. Or like, I like, I like um, you know, the gate strategy in this format. I'm just gonna take the gate. So that's like called forcing, where you uh, force things. And then there's the, the alternative like macro category is drafting the hard way, which is attempting to figure out in your seat, what color pair is open? Because uh, the bots do attempt to draft real decks, as do players in a regular eight-man pod. And so because there's ten possible combinations of two colors and there's five total colors, it's more than likely the people to your left that are passing packs to you aren't... They can't all be in the same... They can't be in all the five colors. They have to, they have, to have chosen their... Um, chosen their spot that will which leaves open some other colors for you to draft to have the uh, the best possible cards so basically you want to find the open color pair uh, that's drafting the hard way and and like basically put yourself in a situation where you're getting past the best cards and maximize your sort of expected value for later points in the draft by identifying what color pair is open and like the the pack matters too because in pack one and pack three you're getting passed two from the left and in pack two you're getting passed from from the right, and so packs one and three are more important than pack two, etc. and so on. Um, speaking of important packs, I think I'm going to take the snare. Sp ah, I think it's New Horizons or Snare Spinner here. Let's take New Horizons. Here's a Steady Aim, Invading Manticore. So I'm not taking a green card. Soren's Thirst, I initially rated pretty highly, but it's not great. I could just take a Kior's Dam Breaker. I could splash that into a Bant deck. Don't really want a second Dam Breaker this early. Definitely don't like Neo Form. I could splash white removal spells in a blue deck, a blue green deck. Don't want a Boreal Grazer, don't want Neo Form. I think uh, Judge Greg says Channel Firebond limited resources for the sites you found most useful. Yeah, like LRCast, I think it's just LRCast.com, is also really good. So there's like other, there's sort of like sort of chunks of draft knowledge. There's like having card evaluation for the current set and knowing what cards are good and which cards are worse. And then there's like having baseline theory that you can then apply onto all future sets. I think LRCast. Is really really good at delving into the current set, and they also they also intermix in sort of what they call level ups, where they go into more like deeper, more generically applicable theory uh, stuff. It's I I don't have a lot of draft theory articles off the top of my head, but I think uh, drafting the hard way is a really good one. Also, Huey Jensen did write a draft about team draft at one point that was really interesting, but not really applicable to a lot of what we do. And there's a lot of heuristics people use, like. If it's a tie, take the cheaper card a lot of the time. But yeah. It's it's a fun drafting is fun. You're playing with probabilities a lot. And uh, card evaluation and sort of macro knowledge of the format in general. It's kind of fun. I'm gonna take a second Kira's Dambreaker. So Rising or New Horizons came back. There's also a rising populace I could play. Kind of wish I had taken that uh, that 
um, uh, Kiora now that uh, this is happening. So I could take the Rising Populace and lean into the sort of green-white thing a little bit. I could just take another New Horizons. Could be New Horizons flooded. Let's take a Rising Populace, see if that happens. I'll take a Pouncing Lynx, but I don't think it's very good, and hopefully it doesn't make my deck. I'll take a Lock Sergeant. Sergeant, same, same story. Here's a War Screecher. All right, the crappy white cards are definitely available to me. Okay, who? Here is a Grateful Apparition, and also Jiang Yangu. I'm gonna take the Apparition. This is also an Aven Eternal, but I'm gonna take the Grateful Apparition. This is one of the best cards going if you have things like New Horizons and Pond Ride Druid and want lots of counters and stuff. Actually. Yeah, wouldn't mind a Jiang Yangu as well, but I think Grateful Apparition is a better card. Enter the God Eternals is also crazy good, but I don't think we're capable of casting that card. There's a Vraska, that card's insane with a bunch of proliferate. Dombri's Ambush is pretty nice, but yeah, we'll take Vraska. We actually are not hard committed to green at this point. We only have a Paradise Druid and a Pollenbright Druid. We could go off a little bit elsewhere. But what would I take instead? Like Callus Dismissal? I think we'll take the. Go Alice. ahead. Beg for mercy. I'm listening. Here's a Law Rune Enforcer. Take that. This card is the best white common. I actually don't see that many of them. And it's a nice. Uh, this, the ability to tap your opponent's best creature for a single mana is just very nice. Bleeding Edge, Callous Dismissal, Thunder Drake, Guild Globe, Thundering Ceratok. I think we can take the Callous Dismissal here. Here's Divine Arrow, Martyr for the Cause, Tamiyo's Epiphany, another New Horizons. We have two Wanderer's Strikes, not cold for removal. For removal. La la la. I have several two drops that would be nice to New Horizons onto. I think I'm going to take the Epiphany here, though. Here's a Martyr for the Cause, a Teo's Light Shield. Force landing, Chandra's Power Helix. I think it's one of these two. I think I'll take the Light Shield. Take the Spellkeeper weird. May, uh, may not end up playing green. We'll see. We'll see how the last pack treats me. Vivian's Grizzly, Stealth Mission, and Contentious Plan. I think uh, my Paradise Druid and my Vraska are both better cards than all the blue I've gotten so far. I could still just splash Tamiyo's Epiphany, Akira's Dambreaker, and Cal's Dismissal if I want. Oh, my www.link didn't work? Oh, because it, auto it defaults to making HTTPS, which LRCast does not have a... <laughs> That's funny. I think I'm taking. It's either Grizzly or Stealth Mission here. I think I'll just take Grizzly. 
Battlefield Promotion or Iron Bully. Have ever met a good Boros deck? Not in this format. I think it's because the uncommon forces you to play some cards that are really bad. Because the tricks, like, Battlefield Promotion is, like, not even great. And, like, the cards without, once you don't have 10th District Legionnaire, there's so many good playable 1-3s. The 2-drops are pretty bad. Like, Pouncing Lynx gets bricked by, like, all these 1-3s. And, like, again, we talked about how the mechanics don't really feed into white-red too well because they're proliferate and amass. Yeah. Yeah, I had a feather at one point and didn't play it. Here I'm deciding basically between Iron Bully and Battlefield Promotion. Um, I think I'll take the Bully. And we get rewarded because we get a promotion here anyway. Um... We're sort of in weird no man's land. We don't know what colors we're going to be. We have a sort of backbone of white, although it's mostly a tapper, grateful apparition, two wanderer strikes. We have some good green and a couple good blue cards. Basically, if I am going to be three colors, I might be more interested in the prismite. Might need the Sahelia Silverwing just to have a flyer somewhere in my 75, though. I think I'll take this. Not my 75, my, uh, you know, 45. This deck is pretty low power right now. Soren is a very nice card. It's another card that I would have to figure out a way to splash. There is also a Challenger Troll, which is pretty good, too. Now I have one New Horizons and a Paradise Druid. I'm just going to take the Challenger Troll. There's Tomic. There's also a second Law Rune Enforcer. I think I'm taking Tomic. Just a solid little flyer. Good guy to put plus one plus one counters on. And I do need some flyers to attack my opponent's planeswalkers, I think. I do like Lawrune Enforcer a lot, but I think I will take Tomek here. Oh, actually. Okay, good. <laughs> Tomek turns off your opponent's uh, New Horizons, funnily enough. Because their spells can't target lands. Which is a very, very strange interaction that probably hasn't come up for many people. There's a Krenko. Jaya's greeting, obviously getting shipped the red nuts here. Um... I think I'm just taking, it's either Sunblade Angel or like Arlen's Wolf. I'm just taking Sunblade Angel here. First, I haven't really seen a lot of Sunblade Angels. I think we're taking Bloom Hulk over the Wanderer. Yeah. Oh man, getting, getting the hookups now. We'll take a Trusted Pegasus here. Here we can probably take this Divine Arrow. I think I need to build my deck right around now, so let's figure out what we're playing here. I don't see a whole lot of reason to play blue cards. Think about it. Uh, okay, we got two Wanderers Strikes. Um, we have the Divine Arrow we just took. I think we don't have to play Pouncing Links. We hope to not play these Loxodon Sergeants. We have plus one, plus one counters from 
Fallen Bright Druid, New Horizons, Iron Bully, and Teo's Light Shield. Plus potentially Rising Populace and Vraska. We could use... And a Battlefield Promotion. Could use some random extra plus one plus one counters. Maybe we splash up Callus Dismissal or something? Could just take Ward Scale. Something like a Courage in Crisis would be an okay pickup. I don't think I need War Screecher here. Could take Guild Globe if I wanted to play Splash the Blue for this junk. Basically, it's for Callus Dismissal and little else. I do need to. I'm at 20 cards right now, so I need to add a few more playables. I do. I am playing New Horizons and a Paradise Druid, so Splashing Blue could be a potential. But I'd be splashing blue for like Tamiya's Epiphany and a single Kira's Dambreaker and a Chaos Dismissal. Eh, it's not terrible. It's basically, the decision here is between Ward Skill, Crocodile, and Guild Globe. Let's just take the Croc. Okay, we have choices here. Man. Bond of Flourishing. Battalion, Martyr for the Cause, Prismite, Crawl Stinger. Might be interested in Battalion because he puts his own counters on himself. But then I'd have to like cut Grizzly. Oh, that'd be fine. Could also maybe cut the uh, New Horizons. Yeah, I think I'll go Battalion. It's another Iron Bully. Snake that here. Hmm. Take a force landing for the sideboard. Take a force landing for the sideboard. I'd say this is very medium. We have one ironclad crow vote on our side. Don't think there's a situation where we would play two. Maybe if my opponent played, yeah, ironclad crow vote does not. Take the, well, I guess I don't need the Vault Progress, and we're never playing that, okay. Alright, this is very medium. Like, it doesn't have any Courages in Crisis, which I could really use. Don't even have that much Proliferate, didn't get any of the uh, Landfall Proliferate guy. We have a couple flyers. We did get a trusted Pegasus. This is pretty medium. I don't know if I need to play the New Horizons. Now that I have Tails Light Shield and two Iron Bullies, I think I've got enough counters uh, flying around. So I think I can drop that. But, at the same time, what else am I playing in this deck? It'd be nice to maybe New Horizons just to help get double green for Vraska. So right now this is 17 lands. I have slots for two spells. I did get Tomek, yes. Let's go New Horizons. And Tamiyo's Epiphany. <laughs> and maybe one island? So we'll have Paradise Druid and New Horizons and one island to splash the Tamiyo's Epiphany. Ended up with no Jiang Yang Goos, which is kind of a bummer. We also didn't get any, like, we have 16 creatures. Crazy amounts of creatures, plus this thing makes creatures. I 
So we have Proliferate in Pollen Bright Druid, two Wanderers Strikes in Bloom Hulk. And the Grateful Apparitions? Yeah, that's a fair amount. This is, uh, how many spells right now? How many lands? It's 15, yeah. So I think I'll do 8, 8, and 1. I think Wardskill Crocodile is okay. I think Dambreaker is a better card, but I don't really want to splash more blue cards. I'm just, this is a very strange Tamio's Epiphany, but I'm trying to get a trying to get away with it for for free here, basically. Yeah, let's roll with this. Very medium power level deck. Playing a single rare and it's a white white two drop flyer. This deck is real something. I had all those sweet battlefield apparition starts against that one guy. I guess that's the upside of my deck. <laughs> sure, we'll uh, make some iron bullies bully them. I should have played a planes there. That was a mistake. Didn't get punished by drawing Tomic. Uh-oh. What are they gonna do with the thing that I want to do to them? Back to it. Got Iron Bully. Put the counter on himself. Don't kill my bully. Don't bully my bully. <laughs> you will watch me. Thank you for the follow game in air. Proliferate zilch. So given I drew that land, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and race. <laughs> Attack. Bully on himself again, and the next turn will wander strike and proliferate both bullies. Ideally, this turn, I guess, is them like Curgen crisising their own creature. I give. Okay, New Horizons onto Arlen's Wolf, preferably. Or onto the Grateful Apparition. Onto the Apparition. Swing with both, hit me for five. Oh, and a Crunch Rider. This is a pretty close race. If they have Bloom Hulk here, I will no longer win the race. If they're not growing Crontranger, that's probably good news for me. Okay, Vivian Screwly does not grow Crontranger. Okay, they just they have some decent dudes. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is not lethal, so I guess I just sit back here. Oh, New Horizons onto a plains. And cast Tamio's Epiphany. I'll put a counter on one of the bullies. Um. Probably need lots of creatures to live from here. Wouldn't mind the battlefield promotion either. Let's see, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana next turn. So we can just cast five plus three. So I'll bottom the planes, keep all three. But 
but life gain will probably help too. Like if they kill this iron bully. Oh boy. You realize I do not stand. A giant. We were not destined to fight. <laughs> what a beating. All right. I think we have to kill the wolves. We take six. Play Challenger Troll and Trusted Pegasus. If they minus again, Pegasus has to chump. If they kill Challenger Troll, we die. Activate, activate. This is one, two, this is eight, nine. We're three points short of killing them. Do not have giant growth in my deck. With me. I have to, unfortunately I have to block the trampler one. Could go to one. So I could take two here, go to one, just to kill off Vivian's Grizzly, which they're uh, starting to use here. Yeah, I think I like that. There's Potomac. It's only plus one, so yeah, so we'll be able to pick off a Johnny with Tomic. Mm, or not. There's no accounting for luck. Maybe yours will hold. Now do you see the benefits of peace? So you can dove in minus on Tomek, sure. When pursuing creativity, defy convention. All right. I'm gonna try and kill a Johnny here. Humility brings perspective. And I'll uh shall return. Play Fallen Bright Druid. Put target on himself. Preventing that guy from getting damage. Boxes are made to be thought outside of. We're gonna double block and use battlefield promotion. Dovin to die. Attack Dovin with both to make sure it dies. Kill Dovin. Play Paradise Druid. He 
These results are an anomaly not to be repeated. Doesn't matter now. I'm really glad I killed that Vivian Grizzly, because I would have definitely lost to that by now. Uh, let's kill the wanderer. Pray we never meet again. So I go. I've already used my Tamiya's Epiphany, so. To play a land. I don't have Vivian's Grizzly in my main deck. Kind of, maybe it should be in. I don't know. Doesn't take much to kill this Tomic. Nice Law Ring Enforcer. That'll pretty much take care of things, I think. I don't know what they're splashing blue for. Oh, we did it. All right. Well, I was thinking about bringing in Silverwing, but they do have a they do have the one three, but they do have a fair number of Planeswalkers. So the more flyers, the better, I think. Bring in Silverwing. Now we're in the draw. Maybe I'll cut a mana source. Cut up the planes. Do I want to bring in Cal's Dismissal? Or Vivian's Grizzly? I don't think I like Teo's Light Shield against all those Arlen's Wolves. Actually, Teo's Light Shield at least can make other things. Nah, bring that back in. Let's run with that. <laughs> Got him all the six lander. I think I have to go to five. Sure. Look for planes. There's planes right there. Now we just need some way to get a counter on this rising populace, or this uh, grateful apparition. Mm, well, that's gonna ruin everything. Snare spinner. Uh, which three drops shall I play? Nothing can block Arlen's Wolf. I guess I'll just play the Populace. Ugh. Honor. You were Stupid not Johnny. To fight. Uh. Literally can't block him, and blocking him seems pretty bad. Okay, now I have the counter. So I guess I... Iron Bully onto Apparition. You just need to draw a land to wander, strike, snare spinner away. Right 
shall always conquer darkness. I'll chump snare spinner. Put a counter on rising populace. Okay, land, 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 land. That's not a land! <sighs> So if that was a land, wander, strike, snare spinner, attack a Johnny, kill it, proliferate onto rising populace, can then block pouncing links. Like we're kind of doing stuff. But that, given that it's not a land, am I just dead? This thing will first strike. This thing I can block. I can chump block with rising populace. This is only eight. Okay, we're playing Pegasus to chump block. Snare spinner slash links. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? Guess I double block here. Zillion ways to get the first counter on Apparition. That's not a way. Okay, no Snare Spinner. Their own Apparition. and found a wanting. Alright, thing to keep in mind is my divine arrow costs three mana now. As Wanderer Strikes now, six mana. Then the no activate. Well, I'm gonna attack Dovin and Divine Arrow Grateful Apparition. Oh, or not. For me to slip up is rare. Play my rising populace pre-combat in the event that Great Flood version dies to Gideon's sacrifice or Gideon's triumph, whatever the hell it's called. It's not astonished that succeeded. Now I have to worry about time wipe. It's five mana for that. It's Nina. Join my order. You and my students are loyal geniuses. Alright. Ooh. There goes Frasca. We're studying contrasts. I'm excellent, and you're, well, not. Uh, they'll just get both uses out of Kazmina. We're just playing Sunblade. Hone your control. There goes all the green stuff. Defects don't seem to bother you. Just gonna attack with Great Flood Apparition and Sunblade Angel. Uh, to save myself from Gideon's triumph. Even with my insight, I didn't foresee this. 
What shall I play? War Screecher or Tomic? Let's go Tomic. Do they have no escape on the splash? There's the triumph. I think we're getting rid of the apparition. Well, my mono flyers seems to be working out. I'll send Tomic at Kismina just to make my Wanderer Strike easier to cast, and then Sunblade at their face. It is I who has learned a lesson. Play a Silver Wing and Screecher. They've got Forest on top. It's their fifth land. Hope they don't have time wipe. No attacks at all. Oh yeah, don't want to attack my Sunblade. Paradise Druid. That's sort of whatever. Could leave back the War Screecher. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I attack with this, it's eight. So I'm going to play Vraska this turn, I think. Make it 7, that brings him to 10, and then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 with my activating Swords creature. Yeah. I'm assuming a Johnny's going to come out here eventually. Because they always guts it. Oh, Lord's creature. I guess I just attack with... So I could wander strike this, and then swing with all, but that's only... Or not with all, but with the flyers. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I had one more point, some interesting stuff happened. Swing with the flyers. Activate War Screecher, make a Vraska token. Do I want to deal five, or do I want to hold up War Screecher's activation slash a blocker? I think I want to deal two more points. Nobody appreciates my handiwork. Alright, we're playing like a green or blue white deck without blue spells. Gems secured. Didn't think it was gonna happen with this. Well I did actually. I said 4-2. So <laughs> we still have a win to win to get there to live up to my expectations. Thought sees. I like it. Sure. And the opponent mold? Glories. We got... We got mana. Oh. Wonder if Strike can maybe do some dirty stuff this game. Turn three for Aska. He's probably got a Sword's Thirst and like... Let's see, if he plays Arlen's Wolf, then 
things go askew. It's not our own school. Man, we Bloom Hulk too? So we're gonna go for Aspen Minus. Time is how you live, is how you'll die. Revolution Sage land. close kill your enemies I can uh, new horizons onto the forest and then play Tomic yeah that seems decent right, so how does this work new horizons let me read new horizons Channel that attack two men of any one color. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather have the counter on the Tomic than the Paradise Druid. Now I have access to one, two, three, four, five mana. I wanted to spread counters a little more widely before I played Bloom Hulk Wanderer Strike, but I kind of want Vraska to live out this turn. Make that a 3 3. You got it. I'll happily trade these two away for the board if such things are allowed. I'd have a trick to save their evolution sage from Tomic. Okay, they're saving their three turns. More death touchers. I have one, two, three, four, five mana. Don't think I'm gonna keep Vraska alive long enough to get another proliferate off him. I think which is more threatening to me, the Death Toucher or the three three? It's probably the three three in the long run. Well, maybe it's the Death Toucher. Nah, it's probably the three three. It's Wanderer Strike, Zombie Army. Maker. One, one. People call me a death dealer, but I rarely offer discounts. The aid fallen in the back. So just play that proliferate. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Guess I want to get these iron bullies going. This Tammy is Epiphany. I don't think I'm tapping up for that. Guess I'll play. Could Tamiya's Epiphany here? I just want to get like Sunblade Angel going. 
But Rising Populace is probably also a good thing to get out. Let's play Rising Populace. Epiphany. Um, I think we bottom all of it, and I just assume we'll draw some lands in the next couple cards. Yeah. So now we get to go with Sunblade Angel and then like Iron Bully into Bloom Hulk. Iron Bully the Sunblade into Bloom Hulk. That seems pretty sweet. And I do want to get a flare out because this board stall could be broken wide open by the opponent having some crazy um some crazy planeswalker or something. Sack any creature at all. At this point, I think it might be this Iron Bully. I don't think he'll have much utility. He does have a counter on him, though. Makes him bigger, sure. I'm kind of heading toward going all in on Sunblade Angel, which makes me a little nervous. Dead immediately. I guess I go War Screecher plus Ward Scale now. I could go War Screecher plus Bloom Hulk. Uh, how many more counters do I have? I've used two Iron Bullies, still have a Teo's Light Shield, and we've used New Horizons. Probably not that many counters left. I am just gonna Bloom Hulk, I think. What I could do here is attack with Paradise Druid, Makeshift Battalion, and Bloom Hulk, and activate War Screecher. That'll be three five power creatures that I can get through a Tithe Bearer. Bloom Hulk, Battalion, Paradise Druid. have to activate War Screecher because I'm killing all these things. So War Screecher is basically just deal one damage. So I guess I'll just go for that. Low 
woo. Oh, there's Grateful Apparition. Well, now I have some incentive to kill Snare Spinner. What happens if I attack with Bloom Hulk, Ward Scale, and Rising Populace? Don't have to send in Rising Populace, I could just swing these two. Ward Scale trades uh, pretty favorably. Send those two. Worst creatures making their blocks steensy bit worse. And basically, I'm trying to grind down their board until the point where my one removal spell is pretty solid. But we won't have... We'll have a rising populace as our last threat. But this is ginormous. Oh, Battlefield promotion is fun. Swing with this guy. Guess we can send the Death Toucher in now. Chump the populace. And we have the backup plan of battlefield promotion onto Great Apparition. I guess their plan is like all Mowu related. Let's just play the apparition. Now that the flyer's gone, our proliferate shenanigans work. All right, we, we grinded it out. I think this is a Vivian's Grizzly game. And that's it. Could do Cal's Dismissal. They do seem to be going big on a zombie army. Eh. Stick with this. kill you. So right now in my basement is a big hole in my wall and a big hole in my floor, in essence. There's two giant industrial-sized fans and a, and a giant industrial-sized dehumidifier all running. All to clear up water that is basically not present at the moment. That it's coming from a leak that we can't figure out the source of. So we thought there was a crack in my foundation, but it may not be that. We thought that we had a leaky pipe. There's actually a nail through a pipe, but it doesn't seem to be the source of the leak. It's all very confusing. 
Meanwhile, we have Grateful Apparition plus the Iron Bully counter onto it, Mono Combo. And that's all we have going on. <laughs> they did show me Omnixil's Cruelty, they had Snare Spinner. No, I think my apparition's dead. Oh, it's alive. I think we have to try and live the dream here. I can still answer it with Obnixilus' Cruelty. Like, maybe I should have had a 3-3 Yarn Bully here instead of a 3-3 Grateful Apparition. That's a death scroll. Block the sage. That should work just fine, right? <laughs> so, even though we've left ourselves back to block, I'm definitely not blocking sage because <laughs> that was the most suspicious pre combat ever. I definitely just have all Nixel's cruelty or something. More Tide Bear Giants! Alright, we. Like, it's not over yet, but. Opponent has four spells in their hand. We've drawn four total spells. Aha! Joke's on you! I have nothing! Land, I think they had 2 2. Vivian's Grizzly maybe can save me here. Iron Bully is just gonna die, or maybe they're gonna pump Evolution Sage. Worst creature can be a sneaky fella. That was that was your plan. You gonna aid the fallen him back? Yeah. Eh. Can't even cast that. Chump, take four. Okay, we're dead. Oh, that was exciting. I wouldn't, I had to turn three Vraska in the game I won. <laughs> I think we need that level of of uh, oomph to uh, to get this one. Maybe I'll divvy up, if I have the same Iron Bully thing again, maybe I'll divvy up my threats a little bit better. Keep this. Trusted Pegasus is a good one.
got Death Touch. No attacks. You're not gonna block, so why not attack? Maybe you didn't want to trade his Death Touch for my Tutu? Sorcerers take four. On right druid. On right druid put a counter on himself. And then I'm gonna New Horizons put a counter on Trusted Pegasus. Pegasus dies to have Nexus's cruelty or spark harvest or something. I'm kind of out of it here. Why is Vizier the Scorpions attacking me? But not Last Tep Reaver. What does this mean? That's not. That could be Massacre Girl? That would kill everything. Why is Vizier attacking but not Last Tep Reaver? They want Lestep to die, so they can aid the Fallen him back and replay him. To make their zombie into a 3-3? Three, three? Oh, what are the effects to deal one to something? Like, why is Lazatep Reaper not swinging here? I'm just gonna block. If it's Massacre Girl, like, if it's Massacre Girl, I'm sort of helping them by blocking. Or hurting them, I don't know. Let's just aid the fallen. Yeah, they wanted a creature in their graveyard to use that spell to replay it to make this thing bigger. Eh. Pegasus, it all falls apart. Their hand might just be filled with the six mana four fives, it draws a card. doing too badly though. His divine arrow. I can attack, they block a divine arrow, their crawl stinger, they swing back at me.
assuming the four fives are gonna start showing up. Ah, Harold the Dreadlord. And seems well, there's Frasca. Keep your friends close. Kill your enemies. Toucher to make a death toucher. This iron bully. If you see an assassin coming for you, that's a bad assassin. Um, great flat apparition still in my deck. I have another wanderer strike. Still have bloom hulk. Revolution sage can make this one zombie army larger. That's sort of whatever. Oh, the grizzly. Grizzle me timbers. Exactly the card I need right now. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna play my land. If he kills, okay, there's his tide bears. Yes. Reveal my six drop flyer. Thank you. And a law rune enforcer? Man, we're, we're drawn pretty hot. They're all Vraska. I leave the public you need my services. It may cost you more than just money. So Wait, what? Oh, the proliferate, right, because of Evolution Sage. Yikes. Okay, we're going to kill Veraska before she goes off. I'm gonna tap Snare Spinner. And we're gonna sadly go all in on Sunblade. Like, I could go to their face here. Don't flatter yourself. Reaver just makes him larger. Activate Grizzly. Grizzles. In that land of the bottom. Let's activate it now. Yeah, let's reveal it. Swing with Sunblade. And then we'll play this. And tap a snare spinner and have lethal in the air. I guess I'll play the land. Well, we got there. I guess here I'll just tap the four five. Biggest creature I can tap. Now I'll tap one three. And we'll... <laughs> Thank you, Vivian's Grizzly. A nice way to end. Up uh, to 11,000 gems with a nice little 5-1. The deck I did not think was that good and played very, very, very fair. Back to 76 win percentage. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and windmill slam the subscribe button above to see more like it in the future. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me streaming Magic Arena every weekday morning at twitch.tv slash blinkymtg. Hope to see you there.